God, we just want to lift up your name this morning and say thank you and, and recognize that your name is worthy. God, recognize that apart from you, we are nothing. Apart from your son coming to this earth as an infant and then dying on the cross to bear our sins, Lord, apart from that, we are nothing. Lord, without you, there cannot be any peace. There, there cannot be any life eternal. And Lord, we say thank you for those things. We say thank you that we get to um, know you and to understand you. And Lord, just give us a desire this year more than ever to know you more. That we would not be content with being complacent. That we would not be content with, with just barely getting by spiritually, God. But that you would put in us a hunger and a thirst and a desire to know you, that, Lord, your kingdom may be advanced. And Lord, we thank you for this, and all God's people said, amen. You may be seated. Before we get to the message today, we do want to spend some time in prayer together as a group. Um, I'll start us off. Uh, I am still here today, which means baby hasn't arrived. Uh, for those that may not have seen my wife in a while, because she always comes late and ends up on the other side. That's not even true. She's going to give me heck for that later. But um, hi, everyone over there. Um, she is very pregnant. I was due on the 31st and we are anxiously awaiting the arrival of our, our new son or daughter. So um, we weren't sure if I would be here to preach today, but I am. So uh, this will be my last Sunday for a couple weeks, more than likely, um, as we welcome a new child into our home. So I would love some prayer for that. That said, uh, we are going to say goodbye to those that are watching online and encourage you to pray where you're at with your family for a few minutes about what's on your hearts today. I'm going to try to repeat what you share here just so that those on the other side can be a part of our prayer time as well and can hear and receive what is on your hearts today too. So what is on your hearts today? What would you have us pray for this morning?